Hello! Technology. You may remember, about a year or so ago, Poundland brought in a whole new slew of technological rangers. Uh, Vito, and there was like a gaming one as well, and they were doing keyboards and mice, and they were doing Bluetooth speakers and the headsets and wireless earbuds and all sorts of things like that. And frankly, for the money, they were extremely impressive. Well, I've been back to Poundland. Surprise, surprise. And, do you know what? I found some things we either didn't look at at the time that are still in stock, or new things that have appeared since. And we are going to begin with a look at what the receipt described as premium headphones. Vido Sound. Or is it Vido? We're saying Vido. I've decided. Headphones with metallic finish. Mmm, crystal clear sound. Can you read that? Crystal clear sound. That, frankly, is a lie, but we'll get on to that later. So yeah, it's a set of headphones. And they say premium, but they were actually six pounds, which, I'm gonna be honest, I think is pretty bloody cheap for a pair of headphones. Not much to say about them, really. Uh, oh, it does say premium headphones on the back as well. Um, Warning, permanent hearing damage can occur if a headset is used at high volumes, right? Let's not do that then. And a giant, giant barcode. Mmm, the greatest of them all. So, let's have a look at them. They look like this. Headphones, innit? Uh, yeah, I mean, they've got that sort of slightly artisan posh headphone look to them, I suppose. Uh, they held in place around your head with these metal things. And they don't feel very premium. Again, six pounds, but you know. Um, yeah, this is sort of very plasticky, and this cable's not great, and, you know, it's it's pretty much what you would expect for the money, I suppose. Right, your problems do begin, though, when you put them on your head, because these metal things stick into your head, and you basically have to kind of um, move these all the way down in order to not have them jabbing you in the bonce the whole time. Which, I will be honest, I don't think is particularly great from a comfort point of view. Uh, but on the plus side, you can then, I don't know, keep a sandwich between that and your head? Yeah, could be useful. Seems unlikely though. And yeah, these sort of, ooh, I always hate these looks. They look like a sort of puckered anus or something, don't they? Not exactly amazing, but you know, they fit over your ears and put sound on them. That's what you're after. Standard three and a half millimeter jack plug, blah, 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 blah. So the big question, what do they sound like? Actually, the other big question was, do they have a microphone? Because these things often do. Nope, these are purely headphones, which is fair enough. So sound wise, well, um, I put them on. And it started off with quite, uh, well, it's just bass, basically. A uh, very sort of heavy drum thing on the track I was listening to. And I thought, oh, this is quite clear. That's not bad. Then I sort of got away from the drums and got a bit more into it. And then it became a bit muffled, I'll be honest with you. So I was like, ah, not crystal clear anymore. Slightly muffled bass. Then the treble kicked in and ooh, yeah, bad. Bad, bad, bad. The treble is completely muffled. Like, uh, they're absolutely awful sounding. Really, really bad. Which is a shame. So they're uncomfortable and they sound bad. <laughs> I know they're cheap. I mean, they'll get the job done. But frankly, Poundland have had considerably better um, headphones in for considerably cheaper. And yours probably still does if you actually check the stock. We do not recommend the Vito Premium Headphones. Get over there. And that clunk was them colliding with a Dick Tracy board game, which I think is a fitting punishment. But of course, you don't always want to be hearing your music directly into your lug holes. You might want to be filling a bit of a room with it. And look, it's yet another wireless Bluetooth speaker from them. Vito Sound wireless speaker looks like a red, red waste paper basket. This is fair enough. Doesn't actually look much like that when you've taken out the box, but that's the photo for you. It's wireless. It's got a USB cable included to charge the internal battery. Four and a half hour playtime and 10 meter range. I didn't actually test the range, but it seemed to work perfectly over Bluetooth. Four and a half hour playtime. Well, I tested it from full charge to dead and it gave me nearly five hours. Uh, in fact, very nearly five hours to the minute. So uh, yeah, as all these things always seem to um, actually provide slightly more battery life than they advertise, which is nice. Anyway, it just says in the back, do not dispose of with household waste. Mm, fair enough. So they've done a lot of these in the past. We've looked at quite a few of them, but this one, short cable. Uh, this one is, uh, how can we put it politely? Ooh, hang on, whoop, 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 whoop. there we are. Uh, yeah, much cheaper feeling than the others. If you look at the top, see it's all scuffed. It was just like that when I opened it. 
just this sort of cheap plastic that is very easily scuffed on it. It's got this sort of uh, fabric mesh over it, but the glue down the side's a bit dodgy. You can see where it's put on, it's got lumps in it. Um, this whole thing feels and looks an awful lot cheaper than all the other Bluetooth speakers they did. Um, and it's still eight pounds, so still sort of in the price range of the others. But of course, the proof of the pudding is in the listening to music through it as my grandmother used to say before she was sacked as a cook. And, uh, well, <sighs> yes, fine. Ha <laughs> ha, fooled you. Yeah, it's actually perfectly good. I would have said easily on par sound-wise with the other ones they've had. Weirdly, the volume is very low. Um, so when I was first listening to it, it was on like 50% volume, like, oh, this is too low, oh, this isn't very good. But weirdly, when you get up to like 75%, it seems to massively increase um, every tiny little um, bit you put it up. So by the time you're reaching like 85 90%, it is perfectly loud. You're not going to fill a big room with it or anything, but you wouldn't expect to from a small speaker like that, so fair enough. And yeah, it's got decent loudness overall. Um, the sound from it is clear. Yeah, it sounds good. It's got a little bit of bass to it. It's, it's actually pretty good. I mean, for an £8 speaker with quite a long-lasting internal battery, that's not bad. But to be brutally honest, if you are grabbing one of these from Poundland, see if they've got any of their other <laughs> older uh, speaker models in, because whilst they sound as good, they're a lot better built. Um, but overall, for eight quid, you can't really knock it that much. Just um, don't physically knock it, because it seems to scratch up before you've even got it. Put something on top. Ba balance a book on it or something. I don't know. I'm not your mother. Boo! Tablet keyboard! As in a keyboard you would use to type for your tablet's computer. Not a keyboard you would take twice a day to ease your ailments. Yes, it's wireless. There's a USB cable included. Slimline design and it's rechargeable. Yes, Bluetooth keyboard in it. As simple as that. A very small slim one, which I think is the whole point. So you can just, you know, pop it in your backpack along with your tablet and actually do some typing on something that at the very least has some kind of tactile feedback. Because of course, Tablet screens have none whatsoever, and as a result, are absolutely horrible to type on. Um, gonna be honest, this isn't the nicest thing in the world. Um, it's eight quid, which is pretty bloody cheap. Battery seems to last for ages, I've not managed to flatten it. And it's not got like your pound sign on. It's It's got dollar, but no, it's got, yeah, it hasn't been localized to the UK market, which isn't great. However, if you just want a very cheap keyboard that doesn't take up much space, and has its own battery, it'll do the job. Type, type, type. Doesn't feel great, doesn't feel awful. It feels, as you would expect, it feels like a slightly cheap laptop, which um, for the sake of eight pounds, I suppose you are expecting. So that's all good. What's not good is that surely, if this is a tablet keyboard, it should have some sort of recess along here you can slot a tablet into. Wouldn't that have helped? Because if not, you've got to pretty much have one of those cases with a fold-out thing so you can actually prop it up if you want to use it on the train and tap along as you are being told that the train is cancelled and there's now a rail replacement service from Bishop Stortford. Anyway, yeah, I mean, it's all right. It's fine. For the money, you're not going to get anything better. Or even, frankly, in this sort of ballpark, I don't think. Absolutely fine if you just want a tiny wee keyboard to take with you. Right. Dim, 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 dim. I've just realised, I said at the start of the video, it was like a year or so ago we started doing these Poundland technology things. I think it was more like 18 months, two years. Oh, blimey. How time flies when you're looking at Vido sound earphones with mic. So we actually looked at the premium version of these. These are the basic ones. And they are about as basic as you can get. Three and a half millimeter jack plug, ergonomic fit, soft buds, hands-free calling. Oh yeah. So basically, plug that bit into your phone, which probably doesn't have any sort of um, jack adapter anymore and you'll need some sort of special adapter but let's not worry about that um those go in your ears you probably guessed that bit and look there's one of those buttons so you can press it and it'll like stop or start music if you're listening to it or take a call i suppose yeah i mean it feels sort of cheap rubbery but textured it must be said um cable and yeah very billy basic earbuds look at those mm. so what do they sound like well ugh, very bassy uh they're muffled distorted the treble is very weak and a bit less muscled i must say actually they probably sound a little bit better than the big old premium metal earphones from earlier so uh that's something uh and this is a raw recording taken from the built-in microphone which is all right um it's not as good as the microphone sounded on the um, premium ones but to be fair the premium ones had crap headphones as 
well. It was just the microphone that was the standout point for those. So, I mean, it'll do a job because these are just £1.50. £1.50 and you can hear things through them and people can probably hear you through the microphone. Now, frankly, I don't think you're going to get a lot more than that for £1.50. But there we are. Somehow sounding slightly better than the bigger headphones, which I can't quite work out. Anyway, get off the sofa, you, because it's gaming time with Falcon. Bum, bum, bum. LED gaming microphone. Oh yeah, with RGB LED light, adjustable microphone, condenser mic, braided cord, braided cord, USB connector compatible with PC color changing LED. <sighs> Deep breaths. So specifications, microphone, unidirectional ECM, mic sensitivity minus 53 plus or minus three decibels, mic impedance around two point, oh sorry, equal to or less than 2.2 thousand ohms, <gasps> USB power, DC five volts and cable length 3.94 feet. Contents, one LED gaming microphone. And that's how it looks. Yes. So, as you'll see, when I grab onto the side here, actually, let's open it, let's open it. You can see the one that's in it, like that. Here we are. Looks a little bit like the spaceships or something from War of the Worlds, coming in with their heat rays or something before the tripods get released. Yeah, um, it's a cheap microphone. Now, I've got to say, I was expecting quite a lot from this, because Poundland have been knocking out of the park with these cheap microphones on things, so just a microphone on its own should be pretty good, one would assume. Well, let's have a look at it. I mean, it feels incredibly cheap, I must say. Cheap plastic. The on-off button, which is basically mute, um, is a bit meh. The lights, uh, which I've just realised I can't show you here, I shall have a bit of a cutaway, uh, the lights just cycle through these colours constantly while it's turned on. And that's it. They don't turn off unless you mute it. So if you're using this, it's going to have this incredibly annoying light show in your eyes the whole time, which is kind of rubbish, but there we are. That's their colour-changing LED sales point or whatever. Hmm. But yeah, you can bend this around so it points towards your gob when you're talking. That's all the stuff, isn't it? And there's a USB cable. So what does it sound like then? Well, tragically, it sounds like this. Okay, quite a lot to unpack in that. Mostly weird-ass background noise. Um, hmm. Yeah, bit of a trouble that, isn't it? So basically, the mic sounds bad. It's muffled and doesn't sound good at all. Very weak as compared to even the stuff we were looking at previously from that were just like built into some headphones and stuff. Uh, so that's a massive disappointment. But it's the background noise, the insane background noise. What on earth is going on there? So I assumed maybe it's unshielded or something. Does it matter the amount of other USB devices there are or something? I don't know. So I went through a massive raft of tests. Part of those tests was to buy an entire other microphone, which frankly was exactly the same. So I then waited a few months and then bought another microphone just in case they changed or something. They didn't. So basically, yeah, they all sound the same. They've all got communications to the space aliens in the background of them. So I tried them on a different PC, an office PC that has far fewer things plugged into it. So this is what the second microphone sounds like. That's a bit better, but still not actually really usable unless you're doing an awful lot of um, background noise removal. Mm, not great. So then I thought, ha 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 ha. I shall try them all with a laptop, because the laptop will have nothing plugged into it whatsoever. So does that mean it'll get less interference? Well, I tried it, and... This is a direct recording through the first microphone connected to a laptop. Yeah. Tried all different USB ports, tried all different microphones, tried different computers. Nothing really makes any sort of difference. It's just a very bad mic, I think, which is a real shame. Basically, it sounds muffled, and there's an absolute ton of weird background beepy beepy interference noise. Absolutely useless, pretty much, because even if you do an incredible amount of audio work on the noises you get from it, in order to use it, it's still going to sound muffled and crap. A big disappointment. These were £6 each, but yeah, not recommended. See if you can find one of those old gaming headsets we looked at before, because the mics in those were much, much, much better. What a shame. Well, what a blooming disappointment most of these were today, um, especially as compared to the stuff we had before. Ah, oh, well, you know what they say, if you work in comedy, you live in horror. Speaking of which, big announcement coming next week. Do you like horror films? I like horror films a lot. Shall we make a horror film? <laughs> Thank you.
Stop, 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 stop,